Alright y'all, here I got my 1990s model uh, John Boat My little duck hunting rig Just picked it up last night uh, This is going to be the one for New season coming up It's July So we got wood duck season And till season uh, in September So uh, hopefully we can get her ready Y'all can join me along the way Fixing this thing up and uh, we're going to change this thing completely around, add a front deck a little bit, uh, put a new flooring in it, some hydro turf, make this the ultimate quack attack. So I hope y'all stay tuned. Be ready to watch. So this thing here, like I said before, is 1990s model, I think 94. Um, John Bum, 14 foot. As you can see right here, what I'm going to be doing is extending this uh, this little deck here out to about here, this rib, and uh, put some plywood on top. Don't really know if that's exactly what I'm going to do yet, but put some hydro turf on it. Get my light light bars and stuff mounted, my pods. Put my lights on the inside here. Um, I'll be putting a floor in here and back here in the back with hydro turf on top of it um not sure if i'm going to do anything to the seats as far as like uh cutting a hole in it to make it a doorway for storage not sure if i'm going to do that yet or not depends on how much uh, i get done by then or have time I'll be taking this boat completely off the trailer repainting the trailer because it, yeah, it's just kind of ugly um probably paint it black do some touch-ups with the paint on on the boat as well um I'll, be, I'll probably be flipping it upside down to put some uh what i call boat bottom on it basically black boat bottom to help it prevent from uh knocking holes in it from rocks and getting scratched up and dented and holes and all the above uh, i've used it before in the past on the other john boats and works pretty good so probably selling this motor this here's a 15 horsepower evan rude uh runs amazing um but i mean it i don't need it for skinny water so might either be putting either a jet pump if i could find one on there uh for a reasonable deal or i'll be putting a mud motor on this thing slinging it um so hopefully y'all will stay tuned for what all we've got coming up redoing this entire boat if you go watch my last videos you see i redid my entire uh my last little duck rig and um all right yeah well as y'all can see i got rid of the um little evan road that was on there sold it and i went and picked up this uh little mud motor here predator uh 224 basically brand new it's got the mud skipper twister on it and um basically i i, I went to south carolina to get it and uh there's a another guy that had it uh, who actually has a another youtube channel um and he put a stage one kit on it i'll show you a little closer here he put a stage one kit on it and uh you know change some stuff around a little bit all i really have to do is basically just hook the uh hook the throttle cable up and find me a little uh, lock thing i'm not sure if i'm gonna i'm not sure if i'm gonna change this or not this uh, little lever here um i've thought about maybe trying to see if i can use some type of old uh, weed eater handle just to since it's a little bit smaller this you kind of have to reach for not that bit of not that big of a deal but uh so here she is um he's got he also came with this custom uh basically kind of like an electric trim tilt type thing um because if you know anything about the mud skipper before you you basically have to unscrew a bunch of stuff and lift it up and down and in order to fix that so all that's ran off of is just uh, this little switch right here um fires right up should get me now 
I haven't tried it out yet, but he said it should get me somewhere around 12, 13 horsepower, something like that, um, with what he's done to it. Um, I'm going to take this off, this motor off. I just kind of put it up there for the video and to see how it looked and fit because I have a jack plate. I had to kind of move stuff around. Um, obviously it, I couldn't use the jack plate. It wouldn't fit on there. It was too small. Um, anyway, this boat is about to be completely transformed. I like the camo. I like the look of it, but, uh, I don't know. I just, every time I get one, I got to try kind of do it my own way. This trailer probably going to paint it all black. I've had a lot of people compliment it, say that they like it. Um, it's all right, but, uh, I just kind of want to, kind of want to give it a clean, fresh black look. Um, so stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to be transforming this entire boat. If you've seen my last video, uh, turning my old John boat around, a little jet boat, um, it looks pretty good. But this, this is, this is probably going to be the best one I've done so far. I'm going to try to put the, uh, the Havoc Timber uh, Red Leg Stencil Kit on it, um, even inside the boat. What else I'm doing here, I'm going to cut um, some things in the seat, sorry, some holes uh, for storage, and basically put some uh, plywood on top with some black carpet that will uh, raise up and down for, for indoor storage type deal. Uh, I mean, I'm going to do that to all the seats. As you can see, I've been, I was cutting on that one last night, but it got really dark. Couldn't see nothing. Um, so stay tuned for the next video. I'm about to start it. Um, I'm going to be extending this front deck and making it some type of hatch somewhere to about here. Just to give me a little bit of extra storage. I don't want to go all the way back because I'm not turning it in. I'm not turning it into a bass boat. It is still a, a duck boat for me. And, uh, I need room for decoys and cooler and and for other people who ride with me for their guns and gear and stuff so i'm just going to be extending it out just a little bit in order to put um a bigger platform up here and uh so i can add some stuff up on it but stay tuned for it i hope you uh, enjoyed this video this is my new uh 1432 pretty small john boat duck boat mud skipper stay tuned for the next video we're going to be turning this john boat around hope you enjoy it see you